MacBook, MacBook, on the wall. Who's the dustiest of them all? Um, got of course another another machine. No, no active signs of liquid damage. Uh, this is an A two two five one. I believe it's a A two zero zero one nine four nine a dash A uh, in for no power. And there's no really active liquid damage, but it's it's dusty, like every MacBook is. And moisture builds up on the dust and causes this sort of thing. Um, this is what it'll look like basically when you have dust and uh, corrosion just kind of accumulates on it. So um, yeah, it's you know important actually if you if you own a MacBook, try to get it you know cleaned out with like an air compressor once or twice a year. Say once a year if you're pretty clean. You're maybe a little bit stinky twice a year. Uh, but in any case, you know, once or twice a year should be good for most. Um, what does this board do? Well, we plug in our USB-C power. We plug in our thingy. Um, and it's drawing 5 volts in like low, or actually fairly high current, like 5 volts, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 amps. So on this sort of a thingy, um, we will basically see our problem. Now we already can kind of assume it's just on the edge of the board next to, um, you know, the dusty areas. Um, but, you know, something like this, 5 volts, 0.3 amps immediately, we will see our problem on a thermal camera. And I can see it's probably something right here on the other side of the board. So let me flip this over. And I have it on the back end now. Plug in USB-C, look on thermal cam, and it is, uh, oh, that's actually like our ISL, a charging chip. Very interesting. Let's replace it. This chip uh, dies a good amount too, so we'll get a new one. Okay, so we just kind of cleaned off all the dust on the board with a brush and some alcohol. This ship's actually, so now the device does, well, basically the same thing. It's running like four watts and it's running two or three watts. Same part gets hot, a little bit hotter now. Um, we're going to replace it and uh, see what happens. I don't think I've seen this exact component fail on this board before, but is it this guy? Oh, it's actually... Oh, this guy's like a little audio guy. That makes more sense. Uh, that is one of these buddies right here. That's probably like this G3S line is shorting out or something like that. We know it's kind of a later stage power rail because it's drawing a little bit more current. It's not going to be like a G3 hotline, but maybe you know, something here. So we'll replace it. I'm going to pull the chip off of another board and reball it. I don't think I have this chip uh, on hand, but. We do have a identical board, and we'll pull that component off and reball it. Um, you know, and really with this, it's just like a speaker amp thing, so we probably could remove it, and this will uh, work. Um, I also started heating up the ultrasonic cleaner for this uh, because I do want to ultrasonic this board. So it did have a lot of dust kind of near the um, CD32s, that sort of stuff. So I would prefer if those don't die in like two or three weeks of the computer getting used. Um, let's remove this buddy. First, I thought it was that ISL to the um, left. It was getting hot, but that's why it's good to kind of, you know, poke with your uh, tweezers or something like that. Um, you know, while, um, while you see what you're seeing on the thermal camera, just so you can confirm what's getting spicy. It's going to be hard to kind of visually see because this stuff's so little. We are at a 430 Celsius, maximum airflow. You know, let's actually check one thing. Let's see what line's short out of this. It's probably this, a G3S. Uh, really, though, on something like this, I was just fixing it and just going through my queue, I would just replace this. What matters is the result.
this line, I guess, is shorting. Yeah, it's like 40 ohms, not really. Oh, okay. All right, so it was the... Um, So I'm getting like 0.1 ohms on uh, on this line, and we can see it is right next to some ground pad, so makes sense. Let's remove it, see if that short goes away. Oh, I don't have my uh, multimeter thingy going. Let's see. All right, but we were getting about 0.2 ohms on that line, basically. So let's remove this and see what the difference is. So still, uh, that must just be supposed to be ground then. Oh, let's see what the let's see what the board is. We'll let it cool down. See if it looks like it's turning on now. off a little bit more. Okay, it doesn't feel very warm anymore. Let's see what this does now. Now we kind of see more normal. Yeah, this should probably work now. So we kind of see the voltage climb up, you know, more or less normally now. And we don't see that sudden sort of like spike immediately. So this is probably turning on now. Um, let's get our other chip. I'm just going to pull one from this guy. Um, looks like we pulled something else from here before. Someone had a similar issue. You know, and I wonder, I was getting like about 100 ohms on this line. That actually does seem kind of low. I wonder what we're getting now. The chip off. Okay, so it actually was shorting out this G3 hotline. Uh, all right, speaker M line just comes on a little bit later. Not too sure. Doesn't really matter all that much. That was the problem. Um, let's get another chippy. Grab a stencil. Actually, I already have some some thermal paste at the ready. Uh, I assume this stencil that I use for like the MacBook uh, screen ICs will work. I'm gonna go ahead and just prep this area first, so we'll add some more flux. I'm gonna get some leaded solder on there and wick it. Um, and then we'll pull off our chip from our other board, reball it, put it on there. And then we'll ultrasonically clean the board. And then we will reassemble it. And then we will test it. a pinch.
that looks fine. I'm going to set our patient board ahead of me so I can grab this and then we'll reball this feller. Flux is key. I don't really need a lot. I'm just removing it. Grab that. You know, I'm gonna make sure to throw away my bad chip so I don't get that confused. And just grab that, threw it in the trash. This is our good chip. Give that a flip. It's not fighting me. <sighs> some flux on this. And again, I grab solder iron, get a little bit of leaded solder on the soldered iron. Better. Let's clean it with the Q-tip. Okay. Grab a stencil. I believe this is like an iPhone. What do I have here? It's an A7 CPU <laughs> stencil. Fits a lot of stuff. This is what I use for like the um, MacBook screen IC chip things. Fits both of those. Turn my hot air at a little bit lower, like 350. Looks good. Poke this guy out. I'm gonna get those kind of away from it. Now I'm gonna hold the chip again while it's outside the stencil and hot air it just to smooth out these solder balls. Even um, <clears throat> which one is my patient board? Oh. I'm gonna clean this off a little. Uh, I'm gonna ultrasonic this board, so I'm not gonna really, like the, the flux that's on here is fine to put this back on. Um, if I, I mean, if this board wasn't so dirty, I probably wouldn't ultrasonic it. And we would just get a more minimal amount of flux under the chip to get it back on.
So I'm going to go back to 430, and I'm going to do a lower airflow. Uh, 60, we're at 430C, 60 airflow. And I'm just going to kind of sneak up on this. And bring it around town. on there. We just give it a little tap, made sure it went back into place. Now let this cool down again. I'm just going to run power, make sure it's still turning on. And then we will ultrasonic it and test it more thoroughly. I think this will work now. We're going to ultrasonic it. We'll As we can see, uh, the MacBook now lives. Um, essentially, we had a G3 hot speaker amp short. It kind of looked like... Um, Similar current draw to maybe what you might see on like a 3v3, S4, S5 short, something like that. Uh, but in any case, uh, you know, le lesson to learn. Uh, if you're seeing a couple watts of current draw on USB-C, one of these stuck at 5 volts, 20 volts, whatever, with drawing like, you know, 2, 3 watts, not turning on, you'll probably see what's getting hot and causing your problem on a thermal camera um, in, in most cases, really. So um, if I see something like that, that's what I'm going to do. Take out the board. Run the uh, power thermal camera, see what uh, what's happening. In this case, we saw you know a chip getting to about 40 degrees Celsius. We know it shouldn't be. We know that's our problem. Uh, we ultrasonically cleaned the board. Otherwise, it was basically just dusty, um, as is you know very often the case for uh, motherboards uh, from MacBooks that I get in for board repair. They were just dusty, basically. Um, but this should be all good now. Uh, all the other parts in the chassis seem fine. Batteries charging. So um, we ran Apple Diagnostics. It passed. Uh, seems to be a okay, so we'll um, you know let this charge up for a little bit just to make sure the battery percentage goes up. I see it's running current like two amps. The battery's at zero percent right now, so it's probably been dead for a while. Um, and we just need to log in and make sure the uh, touch bar is operating. Um, but I think we'll be all good, and we'll see you guys in the next video.